Hey guys, welcome back to part 5 of volume. This time we're going to talk about perfusion and compare that to permeability. So let's talk about perfusion. In perfusion, the rate limiting step is blood flow. So the problem here isn't a drug getting across the membrane, it's that we're having a hard time getting the blood flow to the area that we need it to get to help the drug cross from blood to tissue. Now the blood leaving the tissue will be in equilibrium with that tissue. So the blood and tissue are seen as one. So everything's at equilibrium, everything works perfectly. And the drugs that are ideal here are the small lipophilic drugs that easily are able to cross that membrane. Because remember, those are the good characteristics that we need in passive diffusion. Small, lipophilic, unionized. So as you can see right here, the As you can see here, as the blood's coming through, the drugs are just able to come easily in and out here because once they get to the site, the drugs have no problem getting into the tissue. It's just a matter of getting the blood to the tissue. So the drugs are able to mix well right inside the tissue. Now for permeability, it's a little bit different. The rate limiting step is the movement of the drugs. All right, the equilibrium is not achieved by the time the blood leaves the tissue because it has different separate compartments. The rate limiting step here, like I said, isn't the blood. The blood's there in plenty of time. We just have these large polar drugs. And as we knew earlier, large polar drugs, ionized drugs, don't cross the membrane very easily. And this is what we would call a permeability issue. As you can see, the blood's here. There's no problem getting the blood here. But it takes time for the drugs to pass in and out between the blood, got to get through the membranes to the tissue. In that last picture, we couldn't see the membrane because that wasn't an issue. Because as soon as the blood got there, things were able to exchange. With this one, we do, it takes our time to get through the membrane and into the tissue. Alright guys, that's all I got for you and we'll start on extended distribution next. Thank you, see ya!